My car is a black color sedan, a vehicle, small vehicle, and Mr. Gonzalez's car is a white color big truck. And also, I would say a lot, two by four in the back trunk. The thing is, I want to point out, it's very important. This is not the collision point. The collision point is somewhere near this. There is a car parked somewhere right here, which is a left turn lane. That vehicle make a left around my car from behind. It's basically go around here. That proves the collision point is somewhere right here instead of somewhere right there. Because if a left hand car right here, he will not bother to go around right here and uh, make a left. Okay, so you're saying that the, the actual collision occurred much further towards the top. Okay, Mr. Gonzalez, do you agree with that about where the collision took place? Probably, yes. All right, so we're in agreement that this is a good depiction of how the cars met, but not maybe the best depiction of where on the road it happened. Yes. Okay, you can return to your podium. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and show the video. And I understand this video was taken from um, an electronic store security, across security the street? Security camera, yes. Okay. So allow me to give you some uh, explanation. Okay. You start to see the reflection of my headlights because there's a dip. So my vehicle approaching that intersection and uh, made the dip. The dip make the vehicle vibrate and uh, you can see the reflection of the headlights. That shadow, lighter color shadow is Miss Gonzalez's vehicle. Coming behind me and go around into the lane next to me, which is a left hand only lane. You will see another vehicle right next to my right hand side. That's a third car. That's a light color car. Okay. That vehicle is in the go straight only lane. That intersection is five lanes. So Mr. Gonzalez's vehicle come from behind and go kind of right next to me. Okay, my car collided with Mr. Gonzalez's vehicle over there. You see, after collision, Ms. Gonzalez was trying to make a left. Make a left with a heavy vehicle like that you should slow down your vehicle to maybe 25 to 30 miles. That's tough. Like me, I always go that fast. I stop right there. That's explain I was trying to make a left. However, Mr. Gonzalez was not. He actually engaged with reckless driving, not only speeding, but also crossed the southern lines and also failed to follow the traffic signs, left turn only. He actually goes straight. I think we understand. I think we got it. You can, you can return. Thank you. Thank you very Mr. much. Mr. Liu. Mr. Gonzalez, it doesn't look to me in this video like you're making a left-hand turn. Had you just not gotten there yet? No. Or? When my car got hit, it got hit in the middle, so my car went like this. From your perspective, what happened after this accident? Okay. The accident happened. I went to the right of the free, almost in the entrance. Uh, I had a bunch of material that flew out. So my first instinct was to get out and get my crutches because I had them in the back. I can't have them in the front because it's a two-door car. And I got out, he got out. He was really mad, calling me out of my name, almost trying to fight me. There was some people that, were, that, that video, I actually got, it was my video. Okay. The electrical shop gave it to me because they, they were the ones that helped me load up my whole truck back because we were covering most of the road with the two by fours. So